What's up besties? I'm back with another YouTube video and it's no shade. Shout out to my girls over there at Wiggins Hair for sending me this patchy patch bust down. I've been looking for this wig for a long time. I know I've been wanting to put a patch on Gabby. She's been asking me for this hairstyle. Now you guys can see that the color is kind of like a golden 27 tone. And I want it to be more platinum, more 613-ish. So I went in and I bleached it a little bit more than what it was. I can tell that this hair was black, but I needed it to be a little bit more blonde. And I didn't want to damage the hair, so I didn't leave it on too long. I only used 30 developer BW bleach or whatever. But I left it on for about 30 minutes, and then I washed it out with some purple shampoo, no shade. Now, some of you guys did leave in the comments that y'all want me to show more of my plucking process. Now, I'm not going to show you guys everything because the video would just be absolutely too long. And I want to save some tips for my classes whenever I decide to do them. But from what I've shown, I think I did a good job of showing you guys the gist, which is to just get weight out of the hairline. So, you go row by row. And you just want to create those little gaps. You don't want it to be too thick. You don't want it to look like, you know, a gentleman's hairline. You want it to be very feminine, very realistic. So you have to just get those thick areas and, you know, take the weight out of it and pluck. And don't stay in one place too long. For me, I like to see gaps. Once I see little gaps, then I know I can move on. No shade. This is a better angle. I'm going to try to do more plucking videos from this angle pretty much i'm just getting the weight out i bleached the knots off camera but plug take your time go roll by roll don't go too far back that's the main thing because i used to go like i used to start at the back of the front it's not that deep go like three rows back and do your big one no shade So as you can see, I bleached it and the color is way more lighter than what it originally was fresh out the pack. And I don't think I got it completely 613, but I got the golden tones out of it. So next to the black hair, it still looks really, really light. So I like it. Now I'm just cutting those ear tabs. The way you cut your ear tabs can really make or break the way your frontal lays. This is a glueless slate, but I did put in some bold hold lace tape on the corners because I wanted it to last. I needed this to stay on till the weekend, so it's no shade, period. I'm using my liquid gold from bold hold, and I'm using my little glider, and I do, what, two to three layers, and I just slap it on her skin, rub it in with my thumb, and make sure it's thin, and, you know, I don't want any gooky areas. Everything I apply on her skin I apply it flat and neat, no shade. Please excuse my ashy elbows. They will be making a cameo throughout this entire video. But anyways, placement, placement, placement. The way you lay your wig is so important. You want to make sure that you don't put it to where it's crinkly or you get those ridges. 
Make sure you stretch it. Just make sure you lay that thing flat and right. No shade. Y'all know I love to use my eyebrow razor to cut the lace. When I use scissors, it just looks too gentleman-ish. So, you know, the razor comb helps it just look more natural and blended into the skin. I got this new little makeup brush that I stole from Gabby and I'm never giving it back because it just applies the makeup really neat and I don't have to worry about it getting all on her skin. It just goes right directly on the lace. This was a transparent lace, but the makeup added just, you know, it helped it be scalpy, no shade. I'm using my lace jelly to get all these flyaway hairs laid down. This is a great step to use if you don't want to just use hairspray. This gel is also easy to comb out as well once you, you know, molded it and dried it. So that's really good. It doesn't have a hard finish. So I really recommend this step. It's something new that I'm probably going to do with a lot of my clients now. No shade. I tap it with a little bit of got to be spray, but I'm not dependent on it no more. No shade. When I do glueless installs, I like to use cold air only. Really, most of my installs, I only use cold air. Only some instances, I use warm air. Um, Hot comb, hot comb, hot comb. Hot comb till you can't no more. And don't forget to clean out your hot comb. Sometimes the hairsprays and the products, it builds up and it makes your process not as flat so i've been learning to clean my hot combs it helps me get to the root of the hair and really lay it how i need it to be laid no shade y'all always ask me how i do wand curls grab a piece of hair wrap it around the wand curl <laughs> um i guess the only secret tip i could tell you that's not maybe as obvious is to twist the hair as you wrap it um, I spray the hair before and after curling it with got to be and Tresemme hairspray. And you just have to be really like defined, take your time. Um, don't do big chunks, like you have to grab a piece of hair and curl it. And do that for the whole wig. You know, a lot of you girls, you get lazy and do big chunks. So that's why I be looking like that. We did hairspray baby hairs because this was glueless and hairspray helps it to lay down. If I would've did mousse, it would've been doing too much. Um, oh, look at that baby hair. That's hot. That's real cute. No shade. I love to comb out my curls. Some people like to leave it like that, but um, it never gave candy girl candy curl. It's definitely giving sexy, fierce volume, body, yaddy, yaddy, you know, Beyonce aesthetic. So we comb out our curls over here, we spray them some more over here. And we make it dramatic and big like this. Yes. Like, this is what I've been doing since high school. I've been curling people hair. I live for it. It's probably my favorite thing to do in the hair world is curl. So, this was so fun for me to do. I barely do wand curls because, you know, I feel like that's a special hairstyle. You can't do wand curls every day. And with that being said, shout out to Wiggins Hair for sending this bust down wig. All the hair deets will be in the description below. Thank you guys for almost 4K subscribers. We, I'm finna blank and we gonna be at 10K. No shade. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye, y'all.